What is messaging? Messaging is a method of communication between software components or applications. A component sends a message to a destination and a receiver reads the message from that destination. The sender and the receiver need not be available at the same time in order to communicate and also they are not aware of each other. The only thing they need to know is what message needs to be sent and where it should be sent or read from. That is where the power of messaging comes from, allowing us to build completely decoupled applications. Along with this decoupling, there are several advantages of messaging like reliability, scalability and even flexibility. For example, let's consider a check processing application wherein we have an ATM, a mobile banking application or app and also a teller app which is used by the bankers in the bank. They all use these applications to send checks to a particular destination and our check processing application will process the checks from that destination as a message. Tomorrow, if we have too many checks coming in, we can always scale our application by deploying it to multiple servers and all those applications can read from the same destination or we can have multiple destinations as well. We can have parallel processing in place. What is message oriented middleware? Message oriented middleware is a software or hardware infrastructure that supports the sending and receiving of messages. Examples of message oriented middlewares are WebSphere MQ, ActiveMQ and Sonic MQ. All these message oriented middlewares allow our applications to focus on the business logic and they will take care of asynchronous processing, reliability and even message transformation. They provide all these features inbuilt. Finally, what is JMS? JMS, which stands for Java Messaging Service, is a Java EE standard that allows applications to create, send, receive and read messages. Like any other standard, Oracle provides specification and API as a part of JMS. Specification is a set of rules written in plain English. It is for the message oriented middleware providers like WebSphere MQ, Sonic MQ, Apache, ActiveMQ, etc. And the API is for us, the developers. We will learn one single API and will be able to use any of these message oriented middlewares. In the initial days, long, long ago, we had to learn the Java API for WebSphere MQ. We had to learn the Java API for Sonic MQ. But once JMS came into picture, we as developers will learn one single API and these mom providers will support the JMS API and specification if they are JMS compatible. So it's very easy to migrate our application, our Java application from one vendor to another vendor if they implement JMS and we use JMS in our application. To summarize, messaging is where we develop loosely coupled applications or components within an application and we put messages onto a destination and another application or component within an application can read that message. Message oriented middleware allows us to do that in an easier fashion. It provides all the software and hardware infrastructure for us to send and receive messages and JMS is the way to use the message oriented middleware and do messaging in the world of Java.